As soon as COVID hit and as soon as we went online, uh, there was something really unique about the desperation that I was sensing in people on, in that online format. And nothing felt certain, nothing felt known. And there was this crying out for, for something to hold them because everything felt really unsafe. One of the greatest joys of connecting people is seeing someone come fresh to the church, maybe someone who hasn't ever been before, and taking them from that place of total newness to a place of feeling really connected, connected with the GC. But online and digitally, there is a sense of incompleteness because you never get to follow up. At the end of each service, you shut the computer, and that's the end of that service, that interaction. I, I really struggled going online. It, it's not natural to me. I love face-to-face -face contact. I love that point of connection. And I, it hasn't been easy. And there's been lots of times that I just thought it'd be much easier to not do this. Um, and I keep thinking about Gandalf saying to um, Frodo in that moment that you have a choice as to what you do with the days that are given you. You don't change the circumstances, but you can choose to still serve God. Um, so I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to find ways of using my gifts in a really different way. So I called this lady and she was really quite desperate because I think the normal things that she would call on the normal people, normal um, patterns in her life that provided that comfort and security were just gone. And it was quite incredible that she could text and I could pray and that we would then have that connection. She had someone to reach out to in a time when she maybe otherwise wouldn't have known who to reach out to. I don't think it's something that people enjoy, is having to be dependent on God. It's not easy, it's not fun. But I believe that seeing people go through that, there's actually something that grows faith, that uh, grows reliance on God in those times of not being able to depend on yourself. And it's something that I know to be true and something I've experienced. And I believe strongly that there is good that comes through struggle like this. So when I get to pray for people and they're feeling broken and uncertain and unsure, I can pray for them and point them to a guide that is so um, sure and so certain. I, I know this to be true, that Jesus is constant. He's always there when I need him. And I can speak absolutely into that because it's been the story of my life, a year after year, day after day, that's been his story of grace and compassion and kindness in my life. So when I get to pray, for someone and, and lead them to God, I can trust that the God that I'm leading them to, that He is kind and gracious and compassionate and that He won't leave them hanging. He's gonna meet them in their time of pain and need and I can relate to them in that.